It is Thursday, November 19th, and this is your English instruction for today. Our learning target reads, I can complete the writing about the big question assignment on Google Classroom. So I'm gonna walk you through what's gonna be required of you for this assignment as it's gonna be a two day assignment for all of you at home. So part one is the writing about the big question section. That's the one that's right here on this Google form. So if you access the form, this is what's gonna pop up right here. So up top, we have our vocabulary section that this is all stuff we've talked about in reading so far because it's a Christmas Carol, Scrooge and Marley, Act One again. So this is all vocabulary you've already used and grown accustomed to using in reading. The first three questions on this ask you to read the sentence that is available that has a word missing, and then you're gonna to have to input a word from the word bank up here that you think best fits in that sentence. As long as you spell the words correctly, as long you, if you put in the right word, it should count it correctly for you. However, we have experienced a few issues where I'll have to go in and manually change those scores. So that's part one. Part two are the bottom three questions. And I'll have to go in and manually grade this section to see what everyone wrote for this anyway. What you'll have to do is in this top section, you're gonna list two different times when you learned something new about yourself. And then you're gonna write a response in complete sentences there. So tell me two times you learned something new about yourself. Then taking one of those responses about what you learned about yourself, you're gonna bring one of them down here to the next question. So it says, choose one of the experiences you listed in the question above, write three or more sentences describing that experience. Use at least three of the big question vocabulary words, those little ones at the very top of this page. You may use the words in different forms, like such as you can change reflect to reflection. So as long as the root word stays the same, you can change around the words however you see fit from the ones that are up here at the top of this vocab. Then we come down here to the very last question where it's complete the sentence below. Use the complete sentence as a topic sentence in a short paragraph about the big question. So you're gonna write the way we treat others reveals and then finish that sentence. You'll then pretend like that is the topic sentence of a paragraph to an essay. So you're gonna finish out that paragraph providing me details and an explanation of your thinking, except you cannot use first or second person pronouns. I want to practice using formal writing on this, so you cannot use first person pronouns like I, me, or my, and you cannot use second person pronouns like you, your, and y'all. So it does use we, which is a third person pronoun. I will allow you to use only third person pronouns in this prompt. So that's what you're going to complete first, and then there's a part two to this as well. Part two is the support for writing to sources a letter to Ebenezer Scrooge. So you're gonna use this form here that I've given you to write a letter to Ebenezer Scrooge and this little thing in the margin, in the margin that we have tells you what your letter should be about for the most part. So you're gonna write a rough draft in that box. After you've finished writing the rough draft of your letter and you've included everything with the form details that you should have, revise your letter with someone and then paste your final draft below here. So you could review with an older sibling, maybe a younger sibling, because you can tell them about how Ebenezer Scrooge is a cranky old man and they might find it funny. Or you can revise it with like a parent. After you've done all that, you can paste the final draft below of your letter and then turn this in. This is gonna be a two-part activ two day activity for you all online learners because there's two sections here. So I'd say if you do the writing about the big picture Google form today, that'd be a good place to start and then do this part tomorrow. I will check in with you tomorrow on the video and like maybe go over questions that people have asked me or just kind of give you a rundown again of a reminder of what the directions are when due dates are. As always, No Red Ink is gonna be due Saturday at noon. And then this document will most likely be due, I think it's Monday by 8 a.m. is what I'm hoping to have this in by for online learners. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great rest of